these two, these two right here, obviously, Nate, career high. Uh, what did you say? No, no 20 point game? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, high school, yeah, not oh, college, yeah, no, no. not college, not college. But yeah, I mean, obviously, a big win puts them in the uh, in the top four in the SBC standings as well. So, first, the first half, you guys, Mister Inside, Mister Outside. I mean, some rolls, taking rolls. You're sitting out a little bit further. They're kind of lost, so, and then all of a sudden you go in and score, and you hit a three. And that one time, you was Jimmy coming back down the floor. What was it? I mean, you guys, Mister Inside, Outside today. It's just the way they. Oh, just the way your setup worked. It, it was a little bit of both. It's the way uh, we kind of ran our offense, but we knew they dropped that. They're big, really far. So um, those handoffs and threes were open if we set it right. And the reset, come back off of the screen, and he steps up, and Nate's wide open because they don't help off the corner. So it's really how they how they played it. Um, and then obviously he made one on one moves and got buckets. So I mean, there's no no play for that. Yeah, they were massive. I mean, uh, we kind of we knew we were going to come in and do it at that point. It was just making reads. I mean, he made great reads. Jacob made – Vaughn made great reads uh, off of that little delay action that we ran. So, uh, we got wide open shots, and we got stops on defense, and you saw that with those runs. So, never had over 20 points. Is that right? Never Going in college. Did you think you would? Uh, I or never – At what point, I guess, did you feel yourself, like, getting hot? Uh, I mean, those first like five buckets, I felt like my touch felt good. I was, I had never come out like that before in a college game, and I thought, you know, I was getting good looks, and it was it was fun after that. So. I also noticed it was kind of chibi out there at times. Do you like it when it gets like that? Oh yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I love I love a little chippiness. So they got to talking, you know. I, I'm not gonna just back down from this. I'm gonna talk back too, you know. So. Yeah. Danny goes on the radio. We've been waiting, waiting, waiting. We missed out on last week. It's two nightmares, and today it's like you can throw it in from anywhere. Yeah, I think um, I, I personally, me, I, I always have to look at myself in the mirror, and um, um, part of it is I have to, I mean, for lack of a better like kind of statement, I got to run around more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's just how it is. Um, I got to make them guard me every single possession. I got to tire them out. Um, in the second half, you see they're chasing everyone, yeah. and then all of a sudden someone's wide open for a three or wide open for a dunk. Um, and that's all the movement together. You know, people setting me screens. I'm running around. I'm setting everyone else screens. Um, and as a shooter, when no one's going to help off you, that's kind of how you got to play. Um, so, from my perspective, that's kind of how it went. Coach said on Monday he was tweaking the offense a little bit. You guys now have a week, two games under your belt in this new tweak offense. Do you think it's really working for you guys? Yeah, I think um, Nate has been excellent passing the ball, and, and um, he set some mean screens. So um, using him as that second screener, someone coming off the first screen, getting a second screen from Nate to clean it up. If they want to chase around, that's, that's really difficult. Um, and he makes great decisions. And um, Jake, out of the ball screens, made great decisions tonight. Um, so it, it kind of frees up the bigs off those rolls um, when we set it right. And we get, we get more threes and pull-ups coming off of those screens. Um, but we just got to be patient with the offense. Um, it's a work in progress, like always, you know. Um, and we're, we're not finished yet. We still got nine more games and plus the tournament. So um, we'll see where it takes us. Uh, I thought even, uh, you guys shoot 56% tonight, which is a good number. But uh, I thought bigger than that, you only turned the ball over once in the second half and forced, um, I think it was seven. Um, in a game like that, when you're trying to separate yourself and create that separation, just playing clean basketball is huge, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's something they preach all the time, the assist turnover ratio, right? Like. You want more assists and you want turnovers and you want to turn the other team over more. And you get easy buckets off of that and they can't get easy buckets off of your turnovers when you take care of it. So, And then with the assists too, just, it shows that the ball was moving. You know, we're getting good shots. Like the first Georgia State half, ugly. Second half, we picked it up and now you're kind of seeing it all trying to come together a little bit after a week of work. So. Piggybacking off that a little bit, how much is it trusting in you know, what the coaches are delivering and what you all know you can do. Like you said, the Georgia State first half was, I mean, it was a little bit rough, but this is something new, and it seems like the last three halves, you all really taken off with it. Yeah, I think also um, kind of like playing to our strengths, you know. Uh, we kind of watched it on film, like um, Biggs getting into multiple screens and just hunting the screens early, too. I know one, one possession in the first half, uh, 
I was in the corner and being sprinted down the court, immediate screen. I got fouled on a three and he quick pass. So it's like stuff like that that's early and often, you know, and, and the defense is constantly having to worry about something. Um, and you're playing to your strengths. So, you know, the next, I mean, they helped off the lobs today. So we went, the guards went to the basket, got free. But next game, it could be Bean has four dunks off the of lobs and Nate has another 25 points, you know. So it, it just really depends, you know. But we just got to play to our strengths still and um, kind of have IQ with how we run it. So. Yeah, I think one thing I'll say is this game might not have looked like this if we played like, at Southern Miss. You know, the way we went on a run and the crowd got into it, and you know they kind of forced up a couple bad shots. Um, so defending home floor is really important, and you got to steal as many as you can on the road, and that's kind of how conference play is. So we're looking at this stretch as, as really big towards um, coming down to the end of the season and um, making a run for not only top four seeds, but hopefully you know winning this thing as the results come out. How big Collar did this feel for you? down here because I mean there's sometimes in there you're you scored one basket every I think all five players hitting you at some point you still found a way to, to get it up and in I mean is that something like I enjoy this yeah I mean it's, I mean, you look a little tired at times yeah you wish you can understand but I say hey they paid the price yeah I mean it's something I've kind of worked on through my college career is not trying to seek the foul but going through the contact you know and I think that really benefited me tonight because I mean like you said they were grabbing fouling hitting every every possession basically so it's being able to play through that and uh you know, keep focused without getting to two of my heads. So. Thank you further for the guys. Thank you, sir. All Thank right. You all. Thank you. All. Appreciate it. Like I mentioned before, moving into the top four in league play and defending the uh, home court with two more here next week. Opening statement from Coach. And more well, questions. you know, like I said, these four were big, and we got two. So still, that's just halfway there. So we got to focus on the next one, the ODU coming in, and they're uh, – they gave us a whooping down there, so we're going to have to try to make sure we're on, we're doing our P's and Q's here and hold our own here. These four, these four, like I said, were big, but no bigger than the next one, and we got we got to take that. But I thought our offense is smoothing out a little bit better, uh, starting to look like a Marshall team, getting scores up into 80s. And, uh, uh, proud of the guys that uh, they came out and they put on a good show. So I enjoyed it. I hope y'all did. And we got open shots, and and of course, if you're getting open shots, probably your passing lanes are better too. So, uh, I I just think we, you know, with the way we're doing it now, we used to have Nate would be in the lanes or setting picks, and his man would be back there. Now he's got the ball; they have to come up because if doesn't, he closes that gap, and he's in there shooting layups. So. Uh, you know, maybe uh, it was a brilliant coach or a dumb coach for waiting so long. Y'all figure out which one it is, you know. But uh, we, we kind of – we had that type of play in our offense, but we've always been, you know, from John Elmore days to Jared to Tavion to Andy, always been a pick and roll with the guards. And now we're focused really as the start of the offense is with the uh, uh, center. And uh, we got a good one who can do it. He can play like a point. He gets over the, he's strong with the ball dribble. He can get it up in the lane. And I think it's helped Jacob Connor. He got 12 points tonight and uh, takes a little bit of load off him. So uh, Cam's always Cam Kerfman. You know, you can expect what he's going to do. He's going to run around and fire him. So, you know, uh, uh, oh, oh, played, uh, we played a good ball game. This was a good ball club. And they shoot the ball extremely well. And, uh, to get out 20 points on them, hold it, and end up with 16. It's a pretty good night. Coach, kind of going off of Nate Martin, we were in this was his first 20-plus uh, point game in his college career. So, just again, just how much of an impact has he had on your guys' program? You know what? More than just the court. Uh, he, he brings maturity. If you if you talk to him, he's a, uh, he likes to hike and read, so you figure that out. He's 22 years old, and he likes to hike and read. So, uh uh, he's a mature kid, and he uh, he handles himself real well, and that that bleeds in the team. Then he's very strong, and he uh, very aggressive, and he plays hard. He can get up into the lane. He's got a little touch once he gets in the lane. 
his uh, free throw shooting still in the venture, but uh, it's not bad. You know, he shoots about 70, 72, 73 percent, which is not it's not Shaq like, and, and I love Shaq, but you know, and not 50 percent, but. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, he comes back here next year like we expect him to and uh, we get that kink out of that shot and uh, we'll see what he can do. But uh, he's he's a big effect, just on, on the floor and off the floor. That first half almost looked like between Nate and Camden, Mr. Inside and Mr. Outside. Past this, oh, you're trying to you're, you're trying to get a moniker on him, right? No, I'm just saying, I'm uh, just watching what was going on. He goes in, scores, he hits threes, run around. I think in, that's out, hey, out. that sounds good in the newspaper, you know. <laughs> I think that's good. No, I, I like that, you know. That's what you guys do. No, if y'all are good, you'll get that stuff done yeah, like that, it. It is. It is. He's strong. Yeah. He's strong. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, well, he he's strong anywhere. So he's a and a great kid, and we're we're lucky to get him. That that was the big thing problem we had really with the portal. You know, Mike had declared early, so we were able to get we could pick. The portal was still pretty full. Uh, Andy declared late, and it was all dried up. But you find a look a real ball handling score. Those are hard to come by anyway, and if you wait too long on those, you're not going to get them. So, you know, we had to tweak a little bit. You know, shows you I'm not too stubborn. You know, everybody thinks I'm stubborn as hell, but I'm not too stubborn. I tweaked the whole thing to uh, hopefully, you know, we'll carry through. It's still a long season to go, so it's working right now. We'll see if it'll keep working. Well, they they shoot the ball extremely well, and and uh, you know sometimes they got to miss because they were taking hard shots. It wasn't like easy shots. We weren't giving them much, so when they missed a little, we we scored off. We came down pretty quick. I think Jake O'Connor had a wide open layup, had a dunk and during that time that we took off, and uh, they missed two or three. They misstepped two or three, and next thing you know, we got because I think he hit. Then he hit a corner jumper. And then he hit, uh, I think he hit another one too. And then he had that layup. And then, uh, you know, Nate was doing what he does, and Cam hits one every now and then. And, you know, this game, those, both those two teams are capable of winning from 20 up, or losing from 20 up, or winning from 20 down. Because they shoot fast, and they shoot distance, and they make threes. So it's a little bit like we used to be, you know. You're never out of it. Never. So. I was proud of these guys, though. Our defense this year, though, is better. So it makes it tougher on teams. What do you work on over the next few days? As you get ready? Well, tomorrow I'm going to work on TV remote, getting my tan and making sure I can see it real good. <laughs> Nothing else. And then uh, Monday, we play Thursday, right? So uh, it'll be light. And then we'll go a little bit heavier, work on what they do, what uh, ODU does on Tuesday. Wednesday a little bit lighter. Tuesday will be the heavy day. Wednesday a little bit lighter. Play Thursday, then get on. The, I don't know if we're busing or flying down to. Uh, no, they're they're coming to us. Excuse me. That's right. Thank God, I'm getting ahead of myself. I, if I, <laughs> but uh, then coast coastal comes up here, and uh, I hope it's snowing so that they. They have. They don't. They, oh, we got to get back to Myrtle Beach. And I said, yeah. But uh, you know, uh, for that game, I don't even want to get into it because we got to win this next one. But it'll be making, going through our mistakes, watching film. But we do a lot of film work. So, and that's probably if I have a strength, that might be my strength is being able to clip up game clips and teach off of a film. Maybe that's the high school teacher for 35 years in me. You know. I don't know, but uh, a, a teacher is only as good as the students, and I've got good students, so it makes the teacher good. Is there much good film to pull from the last time you played OBU? Huh? Said, is there much good film to pull from the last time you played OBU? be honest with you, we watch mostly ourselves. Uh, you know, ODU, you know what they got. They got four guards that can shoot it. Guard them, you know. 
I, I, I've told my assistant coaches in, in there, they, they were, and, and, and I'm, I'm kind of let everybody kind of do their thing, sometimes maybe too much, but I'm, you know, I kept telling them, I said, by the time y'all finish a, a scouting report, I, I don't know what the hell's going on because it's too much information. Now, I might be the dumbest person in here, which is a good possibility, but uh, we got to shorten those down and just – you know, these you can't give too much information. If you give too much, it's like giving nothing because they retain nothing with too much. So uh, it's got to be the right amount. I think our our uh, report, he went down each player. Uh, Adam did. It was his game. Went down each player, said their strength. He had one key to victory, play martial basketball. You know what? They went out and played martial basketball. It was a good win, right? And we didn't have to sit there three minutes while he goes through five, seven different things, you know. It's play basketball. Well, they were in our 20th game. If they don't know by now, we're in trouble. So uh, I, I appreciate what they do. And it's a good atmosphere, great fans. Uh, band was good. They're doing an excellent job. So much better when I first came by putting the event on. You know, the feel, you can feel it even on the bench. So. You know, it makes me, it gets me excited, and uh, I've been doing it 50 years, but they get me excited. And uh, uh, I hope we can continue for them and see if we can't uh, get further down the road this year than what we've been doing the last few years. But uh, maybe we'll top John Elmore. I don't know what he'll have to, I don't know what he'll have to say about that, but uh, that's always the goal. But I've always said, you know, you've got to be a Marshall fan. Win, lose, or draw. The only time I would not be a Marshall fan is the same thing with me coaching. I don't get on my players unless they don't play hard and they don't play for Marshall. All right? So if we're playing hard and we're playing for Marshall, fans should be right here supporting. Win, lose, or draw. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter from that point on. That point on, you're a fan. And uh, you be a Marshall fan, wear the green. We had alumni this time. We had the uh, biggest crowd ever coming back. Got to saw a lot of my players. Got to see players in Corny's era and uh, uh, Donnie Jones, a little bit of Donnie Jones era. And all, all mine were too old to get here. They got sick. Pat Brady called in sick. I'm going to tell you, man, you're getting older than I am quick now. And uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, it's, it's good. It's what, it's what college athlete, athletic should be. It's what a college should be. This is the best time I tell these kids. This is the best time of your life, man. You better enjoy it. You know, and then make better times when you leave here. But this should be a good time, a real good time.